Have you ever wondered what's the most Canadian winter activity you could do today? We are Nat and Max, and in this video, we're gonna let our inner Canadian out <laughs> and show you how dog sledding is done in Sun Peaks, BC. morning we had a pretty long day yesterday because we drove from vancouver to sun peaks for five hours and then we explored the village for half a day and we crashed into our hotel afterwards and it's there's just something that's sleeping in a hotel bed that makes you want to sleep in but the goal today is to wake up early have some breakfast drive to sun peaks and make the most out of the day before we drive back to vancouver I think I need to show you guys this view of our hotel room. Nothing beats a gas station view. Well, you can't really expect anything more from an $86 room rate. Filled with hot air. Although this room doesn't come with any views, it does come with breakfast. But instead of the traditional buffet breakfast, you just ask the associate for what you want and they'll give it to you in a bag. quite snowing out here today. It's just negative seven, but it's snowing. It's freezing cold. So we just parked here at one of the public areas for parking, it's free. We're now going to the village. And I whisper to God, do you ever feel alone? There's a lot of restaurants here in the village, but most of them are just doing takeouts. I think one thing that's unique about this village in here in Sun Peaks is skiers can actually ski in the village. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, so they don't clear off the snow in the village, so people could just ski their way in into the lifts. Imagining going to a coffee shop with your skis. Be a town is a long time, is it ever hard to trust? They say, a kid, if you knew of half the things we have seen. It is really snowing quite a bit now, <laughs> and the skiers must love it right here. And it's not that busy actually, right? Yeah. So we are slotted for the 12.30 dog sledding tour, and it's quite early, so we're gonna go grab some lunch, some early lunch and maybe explore the village a little bit more. But if you want to see more of the village, definitely check out our last vlog. Can I get a couple of slices, please? Uh, one sausage bacon, uh, and I... What's the other one? Pepperoni? Pepperoni, yeah. yeah. And Is it just me or are you guys like holding your pizzas too? So we got our pizzas from Mountain High Pizza and it costs $5 per slice. It's better be worth it. Pizza's not actually that bad. At 
After having lunch, it was time to put on some ski pants. We were advised to dress as we were going skiing. So we have chosen mountain man dog sledding tiers today for our dog sledding. And for Max and I, it costed us about $277. The price really depends on what type of tour you're gonna do. But today is going to be an hour tour, which is called the bucket list tour. So we sign our ravers and they've given us this free neck warmer to warm our necks. <laughs> and we're gonna get on this van to go on the tour. Good, how are you? Good. Uh, my name is Chris, by the way. Um, this is my company. Taryn and I have been in business for 11 years. Everybody's a mixed breed husky. Alaskans breed for performance, not for show. Um, so the, basically the reason why everybody's here is because their parents were good lead dogs or good sled dogs with all the traits that we want. So any dog that you meet on this side are not scared of you, absolutely guaranteed. Uh, we have two shy dogs in this corner, uh, but absolutely everybody else you can touch. Very exciting day for the puppies. <laughs> Good one. Let's do a little gold either one at our house here, a little red one. Do you guys would you like to travel with Taryn here today? Right. right on down. Uh, next group is Taryn Nathaniel? Yeah, you can call me Nat. Nat? Yeah. Nat Maxine, nice to meet you. I'm Taryn. This is us over here. <laughs> So there are three packs, and we are gonna go last. After about 20 minutes of ride time, they gave us a short break in the middle of the forest to enjoy the scenery and take pictures with the dogs. Solid, it's frozen. Uh -huh. But we just nice little underhanded lob at their nose. Oh, they're good catchers. Oh, okay. Really? There you go. Stay back because they're going to wait for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary. That's awesome. Good good job. Job. Who's this? King? King. Yeah. Here you go, King. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got a bucket full. Here you go, King. Not good gonna job. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> After an hour long run, the dogs get a juicy treat and some soup. No wonder they all wanted to be picked in the beginning. So often when they swing around 
like that is because yeah. that's their favorite spot is their favorite. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's right. That was such an exhilarating experience. We highly recommend doing dog sledding if you're gonna come here to Sun Peaks and go contact Chris and Taryn from Mountain Man Dog Sledding Adventures. They're gonna take care of you, tell you all the stories about their dogs. You are gonna have an awesome time. We had an awesome time here at Sun Peaks and we're looking forward for more mini travel series here. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.